if you are one of those sad individuals that is more worried about your fantasy football team than Brian Robinson's health, go frick yourself. Yo, somebody in the reply said I'm going to slide on his ops. Here we go again. It seems like deja vu, and it also seems like every other week we're talking about an Alabama player and some terrible news. I don't know what it is, but for the past year or two, there's been so much stuff going on with Alabama football players. It's beyond crazy. First things first, we had the major incident with Henry Ruggs, and we all know what happened there. There's no need to explain that. Then we had Jerry Judy getting arrested. Recently, we had John Mechie, star wide receiver. He got diagnosed with cancer. He's out for the year. And you've also had, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Oh yeah, my bad. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. We had Mr. Ajay Hall. We made plenty of videos on him. He winds up getting kicked out of Alabama. And we also had Jahil Billingsley, and he was stirring up drama. It just seems like there's been so many off-the-field problems going on with Alabama players, and that's not normal, at least in the Nick Saban era. Say what you want and think what you want about Alabama and Nick Saban, but they're not known for players getting in trouble. Nick Saban has done a heck of a job of not allowing players to get away with everything and do what they want. So that's why recently it's been shocking news that all this stuff came out about Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, Ajay Hall, and Jahil Billingsley. With all that being said, it leads us up to what happened last night and it was some of the most tragic and unfortunate news you'll ever hear. The former Alabama star running back from only last year, Brian Robinson Jr., he got shot. I don't know another way to sugarcoat that or try to make it sound not so bad because it is bad. He just straight up got shot. The news first broke last night. The reason I waited and tried to hold off on making this video is because I wanted to wait and see if some more information will come out. Yesterday, and I'll show you this tweet right here and we'll go more into detail, it was stated that Commander's rookie running back Brian Robinson has been shot multiple times in a robbery attempt. Sources tell me it is non, let me repeat that, non-life threatening, which is awesome, much more to come. Whenever I first saw this last night, there was so much going through my mind. Number one, how does this happen? Number two, why does this happen? And number three, it's gotta be one of the most unfortunate circumstances I've ever seen. And it's unfortunate, in my opinion, for different reasons than you think. Yes, let's get the obvious stuff out the way. It's unfortunate anytime someone gets shot or robbed. Like, duh, come on now, that's a no-brainer. But why it's unfortunate to me is because he was looking like the potential starting running back for the Washington Commanders. From all the sources I've read and I've kept up with it closely, he was going to be the starter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Before we go any farther and before I forget to bring this up, you know what pisses me off the most about this? You got people complaining because, oh, I just drafted him on my fantasy football team. What am I going to do? You do not understand how much that pisses me off to the max we got a guy out here who just got shot he could have potentially died and you're worried about your fantasy football team come on man as an american citizen myself i sometimes question our priorities in life look i get it it's fantasy football and you want to win maybe there's a thousand dollars on the line but this is bigger than fantasy football i couldn't believe when this was trending all over twitter yesterday you had people actually concerned about their fantasy football team and they was mad they picked them up i've never played fantasy football in my life and more than likely i probably never will yet i still understand where these people are coming from because you want to win and trust me nobody wants to win more in this life than me you better believe that however even though i love to win more than any other person you'll ever meet on this planet and i not only want to win but i want to crush every single person in life whether it's ping pong basketball football or eating a sandwich even I can put my pride aside for this situation and have some sympathy. Why should you have sympathy? Why should you put your freaking pride aside and your freaking fancy football team aside? Because this is a man's life. I apologize for the rant, but I wanted to get that out there because it's disrespectful to Brian Robinson Jr. When as people are we going to start looking at these NFL, NBA athletes as more than an athlete? They're actually a human too, whether you believe that or not. It just blows my mind. But anyways, continuing on, like I said, it was announced, and I'll show you right here, that Brian Robinson Jr. was expected to be named the starting running back and only about what? 50 minutes after that tweet came out, the bad news broke. This young man cannot catch a break, and for those of you that aren't an Alabama fan or you don't know too much about him, he's about as humble as they get, and he's an overall great person. He's already been through so much at Alabama. He was there for like four or five years. He was always the backup running back. He was always getting dinged up, hurt here and there. Last year, he finally got his shot, and he made the most out of it. Fast forward in time, he gets drafted. It's looking like potentially, or not potentially, according to this tweet, he was going to be the starting running back, and literally, after an hour, he gets that taken away from him. I feel bad for him, but I want y'all to comprehend what I'm about to say and what I'm about to get into. The head coach, Ron Rivera, and all of his teammates, they care for him, and they want to be there for him, and they do feel bad for him. 
But at the end of the day, the NFL is a cutthroat business. You may see a situation like this where Brian Robinson, he may be out for six, eight weeks. We don't know. And he loses that starting job because Dilly can't play and he can never gain it back. And he may never get another opportunity in the NFL. That could seriously happen. And we saw the same thing happen with Tyrod Taylor and Justin Herbert. Tyrod Taylor literally got sabotaged by the Chargers medical staff. They messed up doing some procedure on him. And yeah, long story short, Justin Herbert took over the job and never looked back. If it wasn't for the Chargers having that medical mishap, for all we know, Tyrod Taylor could be starting for the Chargers right now. That's what I'm saying though when I say this time after time, life isn't fair and if this isn't another great example, I don't know what is. Hopefully, best case scenario, Brian Robinson's only out for a couple weeks, he comes back and he can regain that starting job. Here's what head coach Ron Rivera had to say. I just got done visiting with Brian. He's in good spirits and wanted me to thank everyone for their kind words, prayers, and support. He wants his teammates to know he appreciates them for all reaching out and he loves them and will be back soon doing what he does best. If you do want some more information on as to what happened that night we still don't know all too much and that's why it's kind of shocking to me because i feel like we should have some more information but there isn't any all we know is that the police have identified the two potential suspects and recovered a firearm a short distance from where the incident occurred it's also been stated that the quote-unquote authorities are not sure if robinson was the victim of a carjacking or just an armed robbery attempt still regardless it doesn't change the fact that he got shot and more than likely he's gonna miss the season opener and some more time whoa, 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 whoa. as i'm editing this video literally as i'm editing this video we got some breaking news on brian robinson he just posted this on instagram also let me clarify he's not big on social media he only has nine posts but he posted surgery went well thanks for the prayers god is great that's what i like to see and it's also being stated quote unquote he's doing as well as possible given the circumstances oh ho, ho, ho. here's something interesting that could spark up a debate that's been going on around the country Ron Rivera is wearing an orange shirt to raise awareness of gun violence. At the podium, he said that Brian Robinson is quote unquote doing well, and after visiting with him, it was quote unquote kind of a relief. He has stated there's no timeline for him, but he's a heck of a young man. It's also being stated, and may I remind you, this just came out five to six minutes ago by Ian Rappenport, he was shot in the glute and lower leg. Both of the shots were non-life threatening. Football is not important here, but here's the interesting part. But since we cover football, Robinson has not been ruled out for playing at some point this season. There we have it. I hope he heals fast and has an awesome and really fast recovery. I want to see him out there this year. Yo, look at the replies to this tweet. Somebody said he is good to go week one, question mark. Like, no, that's not even a possibility. Yo, somebody in the replies said I'm going to slide on his ops. <laughs> Okay, let me stop laughing. This isn't a laughing matter, but Twitter is so funny. I don't have too much more to say. If we do gain some more information on this, I will definitely keep you guys updated. But I do want to end the video off with this. If you are one of those sad individuals that is more worried about your fantasy football team than Brian Robinson's health, go frick yourself. Oh, yeah, I think that's a good way to end it. I am curious. Let me know your thoughts down below. But I uh, wrote one believe. Yo, let's get them back, boys. Just want to be honest with y'all. Bills are coming in and they need to be paid. So I gotta get this video in eight minutes. Uh,